G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. In this episode, we're gonna continue our look at epithelial tissue. And today we're looking at a very, very specialized type of epithelium, one which is uh, not found in very many regions at all. And this is stratified um, cuboidal or stratified uh, columnar types of epithelium. We often describe them a little bit together because sometimes they're very similar in appearance. So uh, let's start our three minutes. So stratified cuboidal or stratified columnar epithelium are almost exclusively found in the large excretory ducts of the major glands of the human body. So in this case, we're actually looking at a section of one of the major salivary glands. This is actually a section of the sublingual salivary gland. The reason we can tell that is because when we have a look at its um, structure, secretory cell structure, we can see that it's almost largely mucus secreting. And there's a small amount of serous secretions taking place, um, but they exist as these little serous demulones. And uh, if you want to find more information about the sublingual salivary gland, I have video on that and the other salivary glands as well. So they produce a secretion. They secrete into these, uh, what we call the intralobular ducts, and eventually they uh, coalesce and collect the secretions into these larger duct structures. So you can actually see one here in the connective tissue. So this is all the connective tissue here. There's a nice one down here, actually. We zoom in here and have a look at the structure. Um, we can actually see this really nice basal layer remembering that's one of the ways we can actually help to identify a stratified epithelium versus a pseudostratified epithelium. We've got this nice layer of basal cells in a row there. And then we've got these surface cells. So not all cells are actually sitting on the basement membrane. We've got cells sitting on the surface here. We can see these nice elongated um, nuclei, which indicates these are columnar cells. So this would be classified as a stratified uh, columnar type of epithelium. They basically don't modify the secretion very much at all. They're more about just acting as a, a solid conduit um, for, for the secretions to reach the surface. And if we sort of zoom out a little bit, we can actually see uh, on the right-hand side here, uh, this duct actually winding its way uh, towards the surface. So here's our surface epithelium. Uh, if you remember your, your um, epithelial classifications, nice thick uh, type of epithelium here. This is a stratified squamous. Uh, non-keratinized epithelium. We can see nuclei all the way to the surface there. But this is the duct that's emptying its um, salivary secretion onto the surface here. And we can see this stratified uh, columnar type of epithelium. Now, these often start off as stratified cuboidal, then become stratified columnar. Oftentimes, it is difficult to, to distinguish between the two. The difference that we use really, of course, is the shape of the nucleus on the surface uh, cells. They're either round, which means cuboidal, or they're more columnar, uh, more elongated, which indicates a columnar type of epithelium. As I say, these are quite rare types of epithelium. You won't see them very often unless, as I say, you're specifically looking at some of the, the larger ducts, like the pancreas or the liver or the salivary glands. Anyway, that's about it for this uh, type of epithelium. Keep a lookout for our other epithelial type videos and um, we'll see you in the next video. Hooroo!